Okay, um, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve, or I'm sorry, find the perimeter and the area of a rectangle. So we notice that this is a rectangle. We're going to have one, it's kind of nice, four right angles. So we, have, we know this is a rectangle. Uh, to find the perimeter, what we're, what we're asking for the perimeter is the total distance around the figure. And one thing to notice about rectangles is rectangles have opposite sides that are the exact same length. So therefore, if this angle is 3.2 meters, and this side length is 3.2 meters, this is also going to be 3.2 meters. If this length is 1.1 meters, this length over here is also going to be 1.1 meters. So now, if I want to find the distance around my rectangle, what I can do is just simply add up all four of the lengths. So 1.1 meters plus 3.2, and I'll just write the plus all at the end. You don't need to write plus every single time, you can just write it all the way at the end. And these are all meters, so I don't need to keep on writing this. But then if I just add these all up, two, four, five, Three, six, seven, eight. The total distance around my rectangle is going to be 8.5 meters. Now the next question says, find the area. And the area gets a little bit difficult um, because what perimeter says, I should have wrote the example for perimeter. Perimeter tells you to add your 2 times your length plus 2 times width. Meaning, take your length, multiply it by 2, and add it to your width and multiply that by 2. To do that for the year, I could have done P equals 2 times 1.1 plus 2 times 3.2. And therefore, perimeter equals 2.2. And here is going to equal, um, oh, I'm sorry, 2.2, 4, that's 6. I don't even add another number. 2 times 3.2 is going to be uh, 6.4. Add those two up, perimeter equals 8.6 meters. So that's probably how perimeter, I'm sorry, I should have probably gave you both the both ways to add them up. Now to find the area, the area is going to be a lot of times we say base times height, or we say area equals length times width. And it really doesn't matter which one you want to use. Um, the more common way though is we like to say always, you know, length times width. Sometimes we'll say your base times your height when we really are concerned with what the base is of a figure. But length times width it would be very sufficient for a rectangle because one length, one side is the length, the other side is going to be the width. So if I plug these in, I get area equals length, which is 1.1, times my width, which is 3.2. Well, to multiply these out without a calculator, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 0, 3 times 2 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3. Add them both up, 2. Five, three. Oh. Right. There we go. Three point five two is going to be my area. So I say area equals three point five two meters squared. And the reason why I say meters squared is if you guys look at perimeter, if I was to kind of like lay this out, is in only one dimension. However, area, we're dealing with length and width and height. So therefore, we're going in two different dimensions. So therefore, my meters is going to be squared, meaning tell us we're working with our length in two different dimensions. So that's how you find the area and the perimeter of a rectangle.